Welcome to Resolve Module 8. We're going to go over the inspector window. Now, there's a pretty good amount to go over in here, so we'll show you not everything, but a good chunk just so you can get familiar with it. Now, the inspector is pretty much always on the right, no matter what page you're on. Well, here in the edit page, you could be uh, over in your media pool, and then the inspector tab over here correlates with the media pool. The reason I bring that up is, let's say you wanted to do something to this clip in the bin before you even take it to the timeline. So let's grab this and we'll zoom it in a hair. Now, if I go to another clip here and go back to this and jump it into the preview, you can see with the inspector, it's zoomed. And if I drop it in the timeline, you can see, click on it, it's also zoomed. So whatever you do inside your media bin ahead of time will stick with that clip until you bring it into the bin. Now conversely, once you've taken a clip to your timeline and you click on it, now you're dealing with the clips on your timeline and that's what this inspector refers to. And then depending on if the clip has audio or not, if it does, it'll light up and you can adjust audio, volume, EQ, voice isolation, all this stuff. We'll show you more on that later. If there's an effect present, uh, you can adjust it here. If there's a transition or if it's an image, well, image would be like a still and you need to manipulate it. And then file is essentially just your metadata file name. And you can change some things in here, mark it up. Uh, but for video, we got the defaults are transform. So this lets you zoom a clip in, pan it around, uh, rotate it. There's keyframing in here. There's global resets. There's smart reframe, which I'll get into in another video. There's cropping. So if you needed to size it with mats. There's dynamic zoom, which kind of does a motion. And I will show you a separate tutorial on that. There's composite, which is if you're stacking clips on top of one another. So let's just do this for an example. And I change the composite. It's kind of like uh, the blend. Now I'm actually on the bottom clip here. Let me switch to the top. So you can see they kind of blend. And then if you had like text or a background, you know, there's lots of stuff you can do with how it composites in there. There's speed change if you were to ramp the clip. I'll show you that in a future tutorial as well. Camera stabilization, lens correction, retime and scaling, and super scale, which basically enhances the image, gives it some noise reduction and sharpness. That's very processor intensive. So that's pretty much your video attributes. Now let's go ahead and throw an effect on here. I'm going to throw yet on this top clip so that kind of gave it this dark uh, shadow in here and as you can see the effects lit up so it automatically as I dropped an effect on the video clip it shifted to the effects tab and then you can start to uh, manipulate that effect and then if we threw say an audio effect on just uh, let's just pick one here that might be appropriate so I'll just choose that oh I have it filtered by that let's just put course on the audio so now when we hit a course or an audio effect rather we get the dialog box pops up and then under the effects tab in the inspector we get an audio tab enabled and then the open effects is the video effect so that's what the inspector does in the edit page, depending on what uh, part of the file you're on. And then one last thing to show you, if you were to add a transition, so right here I'm going to do a crossfade in between the two so it blends in from car to these people. You can click on the transition now, if you get close enough there. And now our transition highlights in the upper right on the inspector 
And this lets you change some things about it. Like if you want to be in the middle of the edit, you want to be just on the first part of the clip, the leading edge of the second clip. How do you want to uh, filter it? And you can also change the duration and stuff like that by moving these attributes around and the style of dissolve here. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do. And then this one came with the cross dissolve on audio. So we have some audio uh, stuff to manipulate as well. And, but that essentially shows you all the inspector settings and properties. We'll get into it more, but this is the overview of the inspector page. And as I said, that's also applicable if you're viewing it inside here. So let's go to footage, click on a clip. You can do the same thing over here in this page. Uh, actually, I got to put that in the preview window. And then as you can see, oh, actually, it's not working this time. Must have a bug going on. But normally, you can hit it. Okay, that's what it is. Can't manipulate it from the uh, finder window or the explorer portion, but down in your media pool, then you can grab it, dump it in here, start to inspect it, free zoom it, and then when you get back to your timeline and you had the car, that clip was already placed down. But now if we grab the car again and dump it down, it's got the zoom over here from our media page. And that is your basic overview of the inspector tab. I will see you guys on the next module. Thanks for watching.